21 Pilots released their debut self-titled album in December 2009. This album blends early 2000s alternative music with themes of mental health and personal struggle. In this video, I'll break down the album's story and key lessons that you can apply to your own life. If you haven't listened to it yet, I recommend doing so for a fuller understanding. I'll be referencing Genius.com and adding my own perspective. Note that this video discusses sensitive topics around mental health. The album cover symbolizes the inner turmoil and creativity that comes with mental struggle. It depicts thoughts and insecurities pouring out, illustrating the balance between creation and personal conflict. Implicit demand for proof is the start of it all. Tyler is questioning God's existence right to his face. He demands proof of his power and is willing to get struck down by God for his blasphemy if it means he'll finally know that he actually exists. He recognizes what he's capable of, but he wants to know why he's made certain rules and why he never shows himself. In certain areas of our life, we need to look deeper than what is presented to us. The song reminds us to question and review what we believe in, aligning it with our values. This will obviously vary from person to person. Fall Away shows more of this spiritual battle within Tyler, although this time we see the internal conflict that's tearing him apart. He goes back and forth on his desire to fight the disconnection from religion he's facing and simply accepting it. He's desperate to fight back as his well-being withers away, not wanting to slip into insanity as he covers up his problems. You can't accept the negativity inside your head. You need to fight back against it and not let it define you. Not every thought you think is true, so be selective with what you choose to believe. The pantaloon strays a bit from the spiritual themes of this album. A pantaloon is the personification of dementia and Alzheimer's disease, which Tyler's grandfather struggled with. The protagonist of the song watches as his grandfather's mind deteriorates, followed by his father. He eventually follows in their footsteps despite his attempts to avoid it, accepting his fate and the inevitability of aging. Unfortunately, there's a lot we can't control. We need to learn to focus on what we can control and simply accept what we can't. Just do the best with what you got and the rest will come as it does. Addict with a pen goes back to the subtle religious subjects and shows Tyler praying to God and asking for redemption. He confesses his sins and asks God to forgive them, but he feels disconnected from his religion and this is illustrated throughout the song as Tyler struggles to find water in the desert. Even when he has a bit of water in his hands, it eventually slips through his fingers. We can't ignore our mental health, as it causes us to not only lose touch with ourselves, but also other people and whichever religion you believe in. Take time each day to make sure that you're taking care of yourself and connect with the people you love. Life will feel much more fulfilling. Friend Please is the first song Tyler Joseph ever wrote, addressing suicidal thoughts and supporting friends who deal with them. He acknowledges how this poor mental state has affected his friend's life, with the denial and avoidance that often comes with it. Tyler is here for this person, willing to do whatever it takes to keep them alive, even if he has to drop everything to help them. It's important to check in on those who may be struggling, especially those closest to you, and offer your support. Everyone is going through some kind of mental struggle, and many are on the brink of defeat. Let them know that you are there for them. That's the first step. March to the Sea highlights conformity and humankind's natural tendency to blindly follow one another. The protagonist of the song is stuck in this line, tired of life ultimately disappointing him, leaving him vulnerable and defenseless. As he questions his own obedience, someone off in the distance calls out to him. They repeat themselves, telling him to follow them instead, showing how desperate they are to save him from the cycle. We can't just blindly follow the crowd. We need to form our own beliefs and values and stick to them, and not just do what everyone else is doing. We are each our own person, and we need to treat ourselves as such. Johnny Boy is a tribute to Tyler's father during tough times. The character in this song, inspired by his father, is underappreciated in his life. He experiences this at home and out in the world, and Tyler is expressing his appreciation for him and talks about how he deserves recognition. He encourages him to get back up after he falls and showers him with loving words. Sometimes we forget what we are truly capable of. Everyone experiences doubt and defeat. When someone we love is going through that, the best thing we can do is be there for them, to listen to them and comfort them, to remind them of their worth. A lot of the time, that's all we can do. Oh Miss Believer shows Tyler speaking to a special girl in his life. Miss Believer is a play on the word misbeliever, since this character misbelieves in her own inadequacy. She is often overwhelmed by her inner demons and insecurities, and her mind is described as winter, illustrated with jingle bells. She doesn't believe Tyler when he praises her, but he is willing to stick with her through these dark seasons of her life and help her make it out to the other side. Being in a relationship is the true test of someone's compassion and grace. If you can put aside your own struggles to help the person you love get through theirs, then you are already more bound for success than most other people in relationships. Aircatcher is the first song that the band played in a live setting. Tyler is reluctant as he starts to feel attracted to someone, slowly becoming subjected to the temptation that comes with falling in love. This is illustrated 
orchestrated by a parachute or air catcher that Tyler uses to proceed slowly and avoid heartbreak. But this person still sabotages his parachute and Tyler ends up putting his vulnerability and dignity on the line for them. Love is rarely easy, especially opening ourselves up to someone romantically. It's scary and easy to get hurt if we're not careful. But when you find someone who you trust with anything, it's quite rewarding and you realize how much better it is to have someone to share your life with. Trapdoor transitions into an eerie tone that makes the serious subject of this song blatantly clear. This character is suffering from an intense depression and they don't seem to have anyone in their life that cares about them. This extreme isolation is corrupting his sanity but he puts on a happy face and pretends he's okay. The trapdoor is referring to the gallows where people were executed by hanging, truly making this song gruesome. Someone you know might be going through something by themselves without any help or support, and there's a chance that the only thing standing between them and an early grave is simply reaching out and asking how they're doing. It can make a big difference for someone in need. A Car, A Torch, A Death is probably the band's most difficult song to decipher. Tyler is feeling fragile, wanting to go in a different direction in his life, but he is responsible for helping someone that he cares about. Even through his struggle, he must help them get through their struggles as well. Tyler will do anything he can to keep the dark forces away from the people he cares about, even if it means he will lose in the process. The car is his path, the torch is his hope, and the death is his sacrifice. We want so much for ourselves, but having an impact beyond ourselves is so much more important and part of our job here on Earth. You should still take care of yourself, but sometimes we need to put that aside when someone else is in need. Taxi Cab highlights the core of religion. Tyler is losing touch with reality, and he's willing to do anything to repair the connection between him and God. In return, Tyler is saved from his fate, the one he tried to bring upon himself, and he lives on another day, forgiven for his actions. The iconic third verse shows Tyler's dead body being saved from a funeral hearse and taken by three men in a taxi cab, where they drive off towards the sun. This is the representation of him being saved by religion, the three men being the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and he's given a new chance at life. It's so easy to get caught up with what's going on in our head that we ignore how it's affecting us. Having something constructive to lean back on when times are tough is vital, like religion or other personal beliefs. So whatever that is for you that keeps you going through anything, as long as it isn't destructive, never forget about it. Before You Start Your Day is a scary change of pace that has one of the weirdest opening lines to a song I've ever heard. The person Tyler is speaking to had a rough night, barely making it through, and he is speaking to them as they prepare for their day ahead. They try to cover up their problems and struggles, but Tyler sees right through the facade. He reminds them that they are significant and that God still holds them in high regard. Each of us are so important. Every living being on this planet is significant and here for a reason. You are unique and bring things to this world that no one else can. So when you feel like you don't matter, remember that someone still cares about you. Isle of Flightless Birds closes out this album and might be the most crucial song here. Flightless Birds is a metaphor for people who waste their potential. Everyone has unique gifts to contribute to the world, but many simply throw that away to live a mediocre life where they don't have to take risks. We allow our inner demons to take control of our path, but that's no way to live. We get comfortable in our own downfall, stuck in a lifestyle that preys on our weakness. We need to take action. That's what we can take away from this song and this entire album. Each one of you has unfathomable potential, and you can't let that go to waste. Humans were made to create. We must think for ourselves and contribute to something larger than ourselves. You were born to do amazing things, to make this world a better place. You deserve to be here. You are important. You matter. And I mean that. Well, thank you for watching. I hope this video helps you understand the album better and find personal insights. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and pass on the message.